Welcome to Over the Corners Dairy. My name is Jonathan Lamb. I'm one of the owners here. My brother Matthew and I are 12th generation farmers. We've been at this location here since 1998. This farm currently has 1,400 cows on it, expandable to about 2,800 cows. Behind me is our new Dairy Pro Q. This Dairy Pro Q robotic rotary has uh, 72 stalls. There's a robot at every one of the 72 stalls. So as the cow comes on, the robot recognizes the cow by her ear tag and then attaches to the machine. The pre-dip is applied and massaged into them in the liner. Then the cow begins milking and when the robot senses that the milk is good, it, it switches from the dump line to the milk line. And after the machine comes off, when the cow is fully milked, then the cow is post-dip in the liner as well. If any one of the units detects that a cow didn't milk out all the way, it alerts the milker. Or if one individual teeth didn't milk out all the way, it also alerts the milker so that we can intervene and make sure a cow gets milked out fully before exiting the rotary. The reason we looked at robots versus conventional parlors is because we were at a point where we needed to upgrade our old facilities. The old parlors were built about 45 years ago. They were twin double 10 herringbone parlors and I would have had to probably double the pool of the amount of people I had working at this location. So by going to the Dairy Pro Q, it enabled me essentially to hopefully double our milking herd without adding any additional labor. So I think we looked at all of our options and we looked at box robots probably more seriously before we looked at the Dairy Pro Q. But we really like the way we manage cows in the rotary. We like the way we manage them in the freestyle barn. Uh, we like to bed with deep bedded manure solids. We groom those three times a day. Box robots really aren't conducive to grooming three times a day because you're not in the groups that often. So the Dairy Pro Q allowed us to manage cows the way we wanted to manage them and get the milking accomplished while still using robots. As we looked at different milking systems, in the end we compared a Dairy Pro Q versus a conventional rotary. And at the time, given that there's a much larger investment with a Dairy Pro Q, under the current conditions with uh, minimum wages where they are and overtime rules in New York State where they are, uh, we felt like it was you know, somewhat of an economical wash to go with a Dairy Pro Q versus conventional rotary. And we know over time that the regulations for labor are probably just going to get worse and worse. So we feel pretty comfortable as long as we can keep the repair costs of our Dairy Pro Q in line that over time it's going to be a good investment for us. So we just got started with our Dairy Pro Q rotary uh, seven weeks ago. We're still in the transition phase. Uh, our 72 stall requires one operator, at least that's the plan seven weeks in. One of the things that I planned on having him do was that if there was cows that their other confirmation wasn't such that the robot could attach the units, that operator would then attach those units. So far I've been really pleased that we were told to expect about 10% of the cows that the robot was unable to attach, but uh, we're probably closer to 5%. Most of the cows the robots have been able to attach, the robots have been performing really, really well. They haven't needed a lot of maintenance and upkeep compared to what my expectations were at the beginning. And again, that milker has a lot less to do with manual attaches than I was, I was expecting them to do, frankly. The local dealer, Sidec, has been really, really helpful in managing this transition and through every step of the construction process. And I would say the same thing about the GEA employees that we work with as well, is that um, even though we've had some struggles, we've had some challenges, they've all been committed to our success. And, and I can really tell that they personally want to see this and, and our farm succeed. And so I'm really appreciative of all, all of their efforts, both SIDEC and GEA. A year from now, I hope that the cows continue to get more productive. I hope that the Dairy Pro Q continues to operate more uh, efficiently and more smoothly. I hope that the turns per hour uh, continue to go up so that we can get the efficiency that we're looking to get and the productivity. So essentially that's really what it's all about. We're looking to have a, a really high production herd and uh, I'm confident Dairy Pro Q can help us do that. If I could describe Dairy Pro Q in one word, I would say future would be the word that I would pick. I think that again, over time, there, we're gonna see labor costs increase, labor regulations increase. And we've seen it in a lot of other industries and dairy farming has been 
uh, one of the last industries, but I think we're gonna see more and more automation and technology to help us manage our herds.